the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Demon Home is back. And in this video, I'm going to show you top 10 hardest things to obtain in Blocks Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starcode GamerNom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us make better videos. Oh, and shout out to Santo Domingo Spikers. Okay, so before we start, guys, this list is based on my personal experience. So I suggest you comment your own list, and let's see if you have the same list, right? Okay, so are you ready, guys? So let's start. First off, number one is Toshita. Okay, so do you agree guys? Comment it in the comment section. So for those who don't know, this is a legendary sword obtained in the third sea. For the quest, you need to head to the Yama area in the Hydra Island in this secret passage. You need to summon Indra, which means on summoning Indra, you need all three legendary hackies plus the God's Chalice. Okay, after that, you will do a quest again. The quest, you, need, uh, you only have five minutes to light all torches in the floating turtle. Let's fast forward to this part. There you go. After lighting all torches, head to the entrance and the door to Longma boss will open. You need to defeat him. Make sure that you damage him a lot. And there you go, guys. You will get the Toshita Sword. So, guys, this is not easy for all players. How about you? Do you agree? Okay, moving on. Number two, guys, is the Cursed Dual Katana. Again, you need to be in the third C requirement. You need two swords. First Toshita, we already have it in the Yama. So to get Yama, you need to defeat 30 elite enemies. This is kind of easy because you can do it every 10 minutes, okay? So after that, just click the sword. Again, this is located in the waterfalls at the Hydra Island. Okay, so we got two swords, right? Yama and Toshita. Now, head to Crypt Master. Then he will open a door for you. You need to finish six quests. Three for Yama. Quest. There you go. There, here are the quests. I have a guide on this and 3 for Toshita. So here are the quests. Let's fast forward it, guys. Aside from the 6 quests, you need to get all Alucard fragments, right? And then use that to open the door. Here it is. And again, summon a boss. Guys, you can only damage him using the swords. I'm not sure, but I use the Yama here. I don't know if you can use Toshita. <laughs> anyway, here it goes. And after that, ta-da! <laughs> we will get the Cursed Dual Katana. Okay guys, this one's really hard. Even harder than our number 3 in the list, the Soul Guitar. There you go. So guys, you can do this in a full moon. Okay, so just head to the Haunted Castle. Look for the Gravestone and it will ask you to play with him. Okay, so you will start the game. First guys, you will be doing quests such as killing living zombies at the same time. There you go, excellent. You will also do puzzles. Okay, the signages. The perfect combination there you go just click it how about the trophies the puzzle trophies there you go and let's not forget the colored pipes okay so after do doing all these quests you need to gather requirements such as 500 bones 250 ectoplasms and then one dark fragment plus 500 fragments that's a lot and after that here you go guys the mythical gun soul guitar moving on guys for the second c players we have the true triple katana this one's time consuming. You need to wait 4 to 5 hours in a server. Yes. For the tip, you need to talk to the manager. Wait for him to say these lines. Again, after 4 hours. Hey, I just saw him. He told me he would be in the air for 15 minutes. So guys, find the legendary sword dealer in 15 minutes. You need to do this 3 times in order to get all 3 legendary swords. The Sari, the Wando, and Shisui. Okay? After that, guys, don't forget to grind masteries on it. And after that, Head to the peak of the green zone, talk to Mysterious Man, and he will sell you the true triple katana. So guys, again, this is not so hard, but it is time-consuming. Okay, another mythical sword is on the list. We have CDK and TTK, right? Next up is the God Yuma number 5. So you need to unlock all fight styles. Why Gamer Nom? The requirement is only V2. Guys, can you get V2 without the V1, right? So again, all V1, 400 Master, and all V2. Okay, that's a lot. Don't forget, uh, what do you call this? The superhuman. And you need uh, this materials, fishtail, magma ore, dragon scale, myst mystic droplet, plus fragments and bellies to get the god human. Okay? Number 6 on the list, hollow sight, another mythical sword. First hunt to the castle, right? So just look for the dead king NPC and you need to spend bones. 
you need bones to roll here. You can only roll uh, 10 rolls every 2 hours, which means this one is based on luck. So if you will get it on the first time, good job. 2.5 chance on the Hollow Essence. So guys, once you get the Hollow Essence, yes, you can also get a Gravestone, summon the boss. And you need to fight the Soul Reaper. So it has a 5% chance to drop the Hollow Sight. Guys, this is kind of hard. This will also base on your luck, to be honest. Okay? PTK is harder, to be honest. Okay? Okay, moving on. But first, this is the Hollow Sight. Next up, number 7, Race V4, especially the Cyborg. Against God's Chalice, right? Two ways. First is defeat Sea Beasts, 5% chance. Or random chest, 100% chance every 4 hours. After this, head to the Law Raid or Order Raid. Insert Chalice. Next up, Core Brain. So guys, to do this, defeat Law until you get it. So ask help from your friends. There you go. Next up, Alchemist Quest V2. For V3, give Arrow Blocks Fruit. Okay, next up, Third C, Bit Indra. Let's make this fast. And after defeating Indra, next requirement is get the Mirror Fractal. So you can do that by defeating Do King. So guys, you need to get Candy Chalice, 1 God Chalice, plus 10 Conjured Cocos. Need to defeat 500 mobs in his island, and there you go. Guys, this one's really hard, I'm telling you. <laughs> Good luck on getting this. Next up, Full Moon and Mirage Island at the same time, but they changed it. They made this one easier. Now you don't need the Full Moon. So, guys, when I did this, it's really hard. So, guys, use the Mirror Fractal to the moon. There you go, and look for the gear. Now, once you find the gear, do your uh, trials, there you go. For the cyborg, you need to dodge bombs. There you go. Defeat your friends. And that is how you awaken Cyborg Race V4. Guys, this one's really hard. This might be on top of the list. Comment it in the comment section if you agree. Oh, this one's really good. Okay, moving on, guys. Number 8, Dark Blade V3 Slayer Skin. First, buy the Dark Blade, make it V2. So, in the first C, you will be doing the Sun Quest. Uh, do the what he call this Valentine's cards. Next up, get race Angel Human Shark made to V3. Then two fists of darkness. One used to summon Dark Beard, and after that, head to the graveyard, and you will find a door. Okay, this is how the Slayer skin looks like. Okay, this one's really good. But again, you need Robux to do this one. Number nine, limited edition item. So for example, the Santa hat. Guys, this one's hard because you can only get it in a specific span of time. Like for example, uh, the Christmas season, right? Same with the holiday cloak. Or the previous uh, update, the heart shades, right? Okay, so like now you won't be able to get it. So guys, number 10, last but not the least. For me, this one's really hard, the dark coat. Guys, I think I already defeated more than 50 dark beards, but I wasn't able to get it yet. Imagine more than 100 sea beasts. So guys, can you share your list? Comment it in the comment section. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.